Hi everyone, welcome back to Create Every Day in May. Today is May 4th, 2018. And today we're going to make a gatefold card together. First of all, I want to just share with you the template that I am using. We're going to attempt to use. This is it right here. And I'm going to show, you, show with you how to get that. You take a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and... You're going to leave one side 12 inches and the other side you can pick how wide you want it to be. And for me, I just want it to be five and a half by 12. So I'm just going to move this paper down to the five and a half mark. If you want to make it um, six, you could do six. Whatever you want is your decision. I'm just lining it up on both sides. So we'll make sure it's even measuring and then you're going to cut so this will be your card base then you're going to take a scoreboard and you're going to score a few times you're going to score at four eight Or you can just flip it over and score four on each side. And then you're going to score at two and ten. So every two inches you'll score, except for the middle piece. You'll leave it four and eight. You want this to be your card center. Now you're going to fold it. This paper has texture. So you can choose whichever side you want your texture to be on. Not sure if you can see it. So one side is plain. And then you're going to take your flaps that you have made and you're going to fold them up like this. This card stock is really thick, so be mindful of that. And then you can take your bone folder and make your creases a little bit tighter. And now you have it. This is your gate fold. You decorate it however you want and do whatever you need to do. So let's go ahead and work on today's project. All right, so this is going to be our card base. Remember that if you have pattern paper, these clouds definitely go in one particular way. I had cut the paper incorrectly, so just keep that in mind. And we are going to use those hot air blues again. I've already cut them, I just haven't colored them. So I'm going to try and make this quick. I'll do one strip or two with you all and then I will um, do the rest offline well off camera all right no rhyme or reason for the colors I chose It is not late here, but it's still um, early, so people are going to work. So you will hear that in the background. And I'm just tracing, not doing a very great job at tracing it, but that's okay. I do like to trace the outsides, you know, the lines. And then go in with the color pencils and color them. And let's see if I can't pick a good orange to go with that. Yep, that's great. All right, so I've done one with you all in case anyone was interested in how I color these and I'll be back. All right, so let's go ahead and assemble um, this card. I know that you could use a solid cardstock and then embellish it with another color, but I am not going to do that. And so I think I want to put this chipboard sticker right here because see, you can't see it and it still covers it up. 
And I'm going to put this small hot air balloon right here. And then I'm going to put the big one over here. So when you open it, it will be like this. Let's go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to I need to stamp this sentiment that says happy birthday right there. I'm going to try to stamp it right in a cloud. It's a small little sentiment, so hopefully it will work in a cloud. Yep, works great. Let's go ahead and put the inside pieces down first, and we'll call this project done. Hopefully this has enough adhesive that it sticks. Well, Hopefully it sticks well after I've taken it apart. You know, these clouds don't match. I know that, but it's okay. And we're going to use just some regular double-sided tape. All right, so we got this one down. And I put it at the bottom so it doesn't interfere with this rainbow. I think I called it a rainbow earlier, right? Not an umbrella. All right, and I wanted this one to go on this side. And if you do a gay fold color, remember, don't adhere your entire front piece on um, the card. It will not work out too great for you. I think we're going to pop this one up a little bit, just a little. We'll see how that works out for us. So I just need to remember, let me just write myself a note. You don't have to understand the notes. I understand it fine. <laughs> All right. Just get some adhesive off. Even though I wrote myself that note, I changed my mind. Right. Alrighty, here we go. Great. I did pick up this wonderful tip from Wondering Dreamer 555. I'm not as good at it as she is, but it's beats plucking around, plucking, plucking around with the um, tape in my nails. So, let's see. Alrighty. Now, I think, well, this project is done. Let's go ahead and look at it really quickly. So it's a gatefold card. I guess this is a gatefold card. I don't know why. I guess because you have a little gate on there. I don't know. But there we go. And it says, happy birthday. All right, just one quick. Not too busy. Just right. It's probably not going to go in the mail very well, but... That's okay. Thank you all for watching. Until tomorrow, happy crafting.